Hello viewers, a warm welcome to everyone. We have seen 70 amendments that are made to Indian constitution till now. In this video, we will look from 71 to 80. The 71st amendment included Konkani, Manipuri and Nepali languages in the 8th schedule of the constitution. With the inclusion of these three new languages in the 8th schedule, the number of scheduled languages has risen to 18. The 72nd amendment in 1992 increased the number of seats for the scheduled tribes in the Legislative Assembly of Tripura in proportion to the total number of seats in general candidates. But this increase was not to affect number of existing assembly until dissolution. The 73rd amendment in 1992 provided a constitutional guarantee to the formation of panchayatis at village and other levels, direct elections to all seats in panchayatis, reservation of scheduled castes, scheduled tribes, etc. It fixed the term of panchayatis as 5 years and provided for mandatory elections at the end of term. Incorporated an 11th schedule in the constitution which contains 29 subjects on which the panchayati shall have administrative control. The 74th amendment in 1992 added a new part to the constitution relating to urban local bodies. This part contains provisions regarding constitution, composition, election, duration of municipalities, powers and responsibility of municipalities regarding preparation of plans etc. It also provides for reservation of seats in each municipality for scheduled castes and scheduled tribes, women and backward classes. It added a 12th schedule to the constitution which contains 18 subjects on which municipalities shall have administrative control. The 75th amendment in 1994 affected certain changes in article 223b of the constitution. It provided for establishment of tribunals for regulation and control of tenancy issues including the rights, title and interests of landlord and tenants. The 76th amendment in 1994 brought the Tamil Nadu Reservation Act which provided for 69% reservation in jobs and educational institutions in the state under the 9th schedule of the constitution. This provided the bill protection from further judicial review. The 77th amendment in 1995 nullified the effect of the Supreme Court judgment in in, Min, Main, in Manthal Commission case in which the court, the court held that reservations in promotions cannot be made. The amendment added a new clause 4a to article 16 of the constitution which authorized the state to make any provisions for reservation in promotion in government jobs in favor of scheduled castes and scheduled tribes. The 78th amendment in 1995 inserted 27 land reform acts of various states in the 9th schedule of constitution. After this amendment, the number of acts included in the 9th schedule rose to 284. The 79th amendment was carried out in 2000. It extended reservation for scheduled castes and scheduled tribes for a further period of 10 years that is up to 2005 January 2010. 80th amendment was carried out in 2000 to remove some an anomalies in tax, tax distribution. It made certain changes in the tax distribution provided under articles 269, 270 and 272. Thank you listeners, we have seen 80 amendments that are made to Indian constitution till now. In our next video, we will see from 81 to 94. Thank you again. Don't forget to like, subscribe channel if you are satisfied with our videos.